Hey Jim, just want to take this opportunity to congratulate you on your retirement. Uh, it has been great working with you for the last eight years. Uh, I think you and I have made a great team. We've complimented each other. Uh, we've had a whole lot of fun uh, the last eight years, so I'm really going to miss you. Um, you know, in your 20 plus years in the district, you've really impacted so many students and families. Um, and when I think of a couple things in particular that really you've left your mark on, uh, Ski Club is definitely one of those, and Caring and Sharing. Uh, your efforts and contributions in both of those uh, have really boosted those programs and really left a lasting mark. I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors, and take care, buddy. Hi, Julie. Congratulations on such an amazing career here in Berkeley. Your expertise and your leadership, your drive to do what's absolutely best for kids, as well as your love for this community will be missed at Norup every single day. You've given so much heart and passion to all the children who've been lucky enough to call you Mrs. Finch, including my two boys who you know absolutely adore you. And I have grown so much through our time together. You are literally my right hand and the most collaborative partner that I've ever had here in Berkeley in all my years. So I've been so lucky over these years, not only to call you my partner, but then to call you my own children's teacher, my colleague, and most importantly, above all, my very best friend. And so I'm so excited for you in this new chapter. I can't wait to see where it takes you. And I love you, my friend. Congratulations, Carol, on your retirement. I'm so happy for you. I hope that you are able to look back on your years in Berkeley as a great accomplishment. You've been at the elementary, the middle, the high school level, in the athletic department, at the board office. You've really um, touched everything here in Berkeley and you should be very proud of yourself. I know that you are a dedicated worker and that you try your best to make Berkeley a great place to work and a great place for our students. Um, I wish you all the best in your retirement and I hope that you enjoy every day. Take care. Hi Ethel, Lucy here. You knew I would make it into your video. Hopefully I can do it without crying. I'm so proud of the work that you've done the past 30 years here at Berkeley. You are a natural educator. Uh, you really found your calling and Berkeley really got a gem when they hired you. And you've made such a difference in kids' lives. I hear it when they come to me in fourth grade, they still talk about you. I thank Berkeley for bringing you into my life. 25 years ago, our girls are best friends, we are. Um, and now it's time for you to go to your farm in Frankenmuth and enjoy growing your melons and having your stand by the road. Uh, traveling to Europe, watching sunrises from your porch or sunsets. I don't know which way your porch faces, <laughs> but enjoy relaxing in your retirement. You've earned it. I love you bunches. I have known Natalie for over 30 years. Um, we started out at Avery together and ended up here at Rogers. Um, and we've become friends and she's the ultimate professional. Uh, Natalie hasn't even missed but a few days of work in all of her years here at Berkeley Schools. I will miss seeing Natalie every day as I bothered her every day at lunch in the office and we hung out and chatted. Um, I'm sure she'll miss me as well. On behalf of Roger's staff and students, we'd like to wish Natalie the best of luck with her next adventure in life. Rose, to know you is to love you. When I started at Burton a few years back, you really took me under your wing with your constant kind heart, your encouragement, support, quick wit, and positivity. I know the last few years of your career haven't been the easiest with the pandemic, but you rolled with the punches 
and you had a smile on your face the entire time and were a true role model for everybody. Each and every student that you've had throughout your career is so lucky to have had you and so many still keep in contact with you, which is just a true testament to what an amazing teacher you are and I hope to be half the teacher that you are one day. With that, on behalf of myself, Burton, and the rest of the district, we love you, we will miss you so much, we hope you visit, and to quote your famous recess line, as you go into retirement, we hope you go and live your best life. Barbara Lauren, where do I begin? For the last 40 years, Barbara has been making a difference in the lives of children. She has worked diligently to meet all the needs of her students. We are fortunate in Berkeley and specifically Burton because Barbara is not only a knowledgeable educator, but she's also a supportive colleague, a dependable leader, an incredible wordsmith, and a caring friend. She is always there to guide, problem solve, support, and offer her opinion if need be. In her years at Burton, she's also been the organized director of the STEM camp, Camp Invention, and for years chose to spend her lunch periods doing math pentathlon for children that wanted a challenge in that preferred content area. I have some student quotes as well. One was a second grade student who said, Mrs. Lauren is really kind to me, really, really kind. Another child said, she is always nice to me. She was my best friend when I needed help. So as I close, Barbara, thank you for not only being an incredible teammate, but for sharing your teaching passion with all of us. It is now time for you to continue making imprints and creating lasting memories with your beautiful family. We wish you nothing but joyous occasions and endless love. Enjoy and congratulations. Retirement message for Beth? Oh, oh, oh you guys, I only got her for one year. It's just, it's too much. I can't do it. It sounds like, hey, you guys, it sounds like we need a mindful moment. Like Let's try. Okay, so we're going to do this. 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 Okay, so On behalf of the Rogers staff, we'd like to thank you for your years of service and your incredible leadership. We, we wish, wish you well. well. pleasure of um, working with Mark Meacham for the last seven years at Berkeley High School and Mark was the first person that really showed me the ropes of the science department. One of the things that has stood out to me for most of the conversations we had is just how passionate Mark really is about helping students develop a growth mindset, um, helping them come into his class and learn that they're going through the learning process and that making mistakes and struggling is normal and it's actually valuable. Mark's had an, an incredible impact on his students from doing this. Um, I know that they love and respect him so much. Mark is definitely leaving some big shoes to fill here. Uh, it's not every day that you meet a teacher who teaches AP Physics, AP Chemistry, and Organic Chemistry all in one day, every day. But I'm just so grateful that I've had the time that I have had with Mark. It's really hard to imagine Berkeley or even just our science department without Mark. Thank you, Mark, for everything. We'll miss you very much. Congratulations, Larry. I wish you all the best for a long, healthy, and happy retirement. Sometimes you look back on a career, it can seem like a marathon, and for you, literally, it was, right? Uh, 
46 years, uh, what, a, what a legacy, you should be very proud of that. Your main job uh, sometimes was behind the scenes, but the, the fact is that uh, you worked your tail off to make sure that school continued no matter what the circumstances were. But really, thank you for all the 46 years uh, that you've been with the district, uh, right out of high school, a BHS alum, um, so you should be very proud of that, uh, that you put a lot of time and effort. Um, you mentioned you'd be around, and uh, we're going to count on that. In fact, we already have, right? You've come back to help us with... Uh, with lining of the fields and things along those lines and uh, at this challenging time we certainly could use your help on occasion but at the same time um, you and Donna have your, your grandkids now you've got the place up north enjoy the heck out of that uh, hope to see you around um, let's talk soon and again all the best for a long healthy happy retirement Terry, I'm so happy that I get to honor you on your retirement today. It has been such a wonderful experience to have you in my life here at Angel, and I think I can speak for everyone here at Angel. It has been just tremendous to know you, to know what you do for our kids every single day that you are here, the constant checking in and effort and not only can I tell as the classroom teacher, but I know all of the kids here have benefited from you with every ounce that you have given them. Um, I wish you the most wonderful retirement and enjoyment in whatever comes next for you. Please know, without me getting to, I will miss you dearly. So from all of us in here, room 223 this year and every year prior to that, we wish you the very best and you will be missed. Jerry, it's been great knowing you the last seven years. Um, good luck on retirement. One thing I'm going to miss is you talking about all of your former colleagues who were my teachers at the high school. Hi, Sherry. Just want to say happy retirement. I am so grateful that I got to know you the last seven years. You're a great friend, a great mentor, and I look forward to hearing some of your retirement stories. Congrats. Sally girl it's that time for you retirement wow I am jealous we go so far back I even got you a Sally stool here at the board office just for you I remember way back when when Sue O left and Judy came to me and said we needed to fill a spot you were the first person on my list I am so excited for you happy retirement Jennifer Simone is the consummate educator. I was fortunate enough to teach with her my entire career here at Berkeley High School. And she has this way of envisioning amazing, amazing projects and then making them happen. And so I know I learned so much from her as she um, executed a military appreciation day for the entire community as she overhauled curriculum and looked for ways to engage with kids in thoughtful ways. She found a way to jump in, um, to put her passions to whatever the task was at hand, and really to make all of us stronger and more thoughtful and more reflective. So, Jen Simone, you are an amazing, amazing educator, and I hope that we have listened and learned and we have taken from your wisdom and we will carry on these pieces and this passion that you have really instilled here. I've worked with Mary Stratt for the last four years in my ECSE classroom. Mary is extremely hardworking, she's enthusiastic, very positive, and she has great relationships with all the children that she works with. And the kids in the class love her. Even the kids around the building will run up to her when she comes in the building. She's loved by so many people. Um, she's a great coworker, we've become great friends, and I'm so thankful that we've had the last four years to work together. I hope she has so much fun and enjoyment in her retirement and we'll miss her dearly. 
and wish her the best in her retirement. Hi, Noelle, congratulations to you. Even though we've been colleagues for a couple decades now, I'm so fortunate to just call you one of my best friends and what you bring here, what you've brought here to Anderson and your compassion and kindness to students um, is going to be missed. I'm gonna miss you personally and, and we're all just gonna miss you here. Uh, so congratulations, best of luck on your new endeavor and your new adventure and you're just gonna nail it just like you nail everything that you do. And this relationship isn't over. We're still gonna have dinner every month, solve all of the world's problems. So I love you and I'm gonna miss you. Michelle Thompson is a teacher's best gift. <laughs> uh, she has worked with our most challenging and our most vulnerable students across the district through her whole career. Whether she's being a lunch aide or a paraprofessional or just an all around help, you can't do any better than Michelle. Unfortunately, now we have to say goodbye as she enters retirement. I know she's looking forward to spending time with her family and doing things that she's never had a chance to do before. So Michelle, as you retire, we wish you well and we will definitely miss you. We are truly grateful for having you in our lives. I love you, Miss Michelle. Congratulations on your retirement, Kelly. We are gonna miss you so much here. There's totally a different vibe in the school without you. I know you're probably enjoying some time watching Ryan and Jake play hockey and Kylie be successful and hopefully you get a lot of alone time with your wife. What I'm really going to miss the most is all of the name games we used to play, trying to see who could name the more kids in the school. I think I always won. Um, I'm also going to miss our afternoon Slurpees, so if you want to stop by any Friday afternoon on a warm sunny day, feel free to bring me a Slurpee. But regardless, I think retirement life is going to be your best life yet and we wish you the very best. Congratulations, Kelly. Maureen, congratulations on your retirement. Thank you so much for your sharing your love of reading and learning with all of us. You inspire our students daily with your amazing book talks and attention to each student as an individual assessing all of their needs and wants. No one walks out of that media center without a book that they are excited to read. We will miss your collaboration on so many units like our eighth grade research, the Civil War, and especially Black History Month. You helped our staff by creating book lists, co-teaching lessons, and assisting with all technology. Your interdisciplinary interactive school-wide presentations on JFK and the Titanic are legendary. You single-handedly brought in renowned authors to inspire our students on a variety of topics. If anyone here at Anderson asked you for anything, the answer was always, I can do that. We have been spoiled by you, staff and students alike, and we wish nothing but the best for you in your retirement. We know one thing for sure, wherever you and Daryl travel, there will always be a book nearby and your grandchildren will enjoy your book talks immensely. We love you, we will miss you. Best wishes on all your adventures.